gonna try and give it a clean and just potentially see what it's gonna look like. Just here is like loads of silver paint on the door. And you can see here, this is like all brushed on. This is the actual original paint here. And it's obviously been dark blue and then see the wax red by the looks of things. So you can see it there and there like that. It takes a bit of work to get it to come back. It's left all the nice staining. I haven't taken the staining out. I haven't taken anything out. You can see that's what it was like and that's what it is like. And I'm being really careful to keep the little peace sign here. Plan is, what we're gonna do is do one panel at a time while we're waiting for the body to go to the blasters. I really like the look of that. So this is where this little crack is on the other part of the swage line. It was cracked up through this section here and we've done a really small like, repair and slide in. Just a little bit of chemical metal in between the two pieces. And it's just gonna seal it down. And that's pretty good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna wait for that to go off. We're gonna just razor blade the top excess out of the way. That's pretty grim. I just put this in here to get out. So now you can kind of see, I think we're up to a nice, good solid section into there. Isn't that isn't it. Oh, it's a stone. <laughs> now the lower door in a frame is all out. I'm just gonna heavily wire wheel this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go one way and then we'll go the other way. And then we'll, we'll treat it and then put some epoxy in there. This dent, as you can see here now, it's really highlighted now, it's been, now it's been cleaned. We're just gonna work our way across this door now. You can see, here's the dent. And there, here's a section that's gone. It's got the line there still, and not so much in the top piece. There you go, there's the dent, and it stops there. And then this section here, we've just removed enough to make it look but nice. I haven't totally taken the dent out. I've taken most of it out. But if I went too far and got rid of it totally, then this scratch that's in here wouldn't make sense. So this is the original section that we've just cut out. You can see this lip, it's not very big is it? The reproduction part, this massive lip in here. Now we're gonna cut this lip down. When you look down there, you can see that it just would look wrong. Just to try and make it look more OG, just trim the lip back from these ends here. So when we actually lay it in place, you'll be able to see them. We can just blend them, that section, into this section. So that's the door, epoxied. But now you can see there's hardly any dent. Same with the new panel, so that's been epoxied. Welded in the new bottom section. This bottom section here is just bonding in at the moment. Thin works nicely. Another coat of epoxy just to kind of tidy it up. Uh, I'm going to repair on the top hinge here. So this gap now is nice and close. So, yeah. so you can see the hinge should sit kind of like that. See here. Bent. I'm straighten the hinge now. I'm going to put the door back on and another go to check, see how it fits. It's pretty much done. So I painted the whole thing in epoxy primer. So that's just going to stop any water from getting through. Bottom repair came out really nice. Handle. It's all in and the mech's all in. And that all works really nicely as well. We're nearly there. Um, I don't really want to do any more now to like, get in the door cleaned up anymore until we sort of get the other door done and sort of see how that's looking and how the quarter's gonna look. So take it as far as I wanna take it. This little bit here turned out nice. So that's our little crack from earlier. And as you can see, it's turned out really good. You, know, like, you can't even see it. But like I said, don't really wanna do too much more until we go now to um, get on the van managed to expose the, the white on the hinge and uh, so we can get down the door now and put the two and the two are described because it really but yeah I'm really pleased with that. So 
So this is, uh, I thought we'd have a look at this door. So obviously there's the odd coloured door on the um, driver's side. The one that needs quite a lot of love. Um, there is obviously some nice dove blue under there somewhere. So yeah, I mean, it looks like it's been burnt here. See here, it looks like it's been on fire or something, so. I just thought I'd show you this. Oh, what did you think of that? I think that actually has turned out pretty well. Right, so, door is predominantly mostly stripped. Is that blue or grey? And um, the paint stripper takes all that ganky rust off. There's, the door's definitely been burnt across this edge here. Okay, so it's all burn marks, that is. Um, and then we've obviously got this section here. So this is where like, there's just loads of red oxide and stuff like that. So you can see where the burning sort of comes down into this piece here, yeah? What I would like to do, I don't know how you guys feel about it, um, I would like to burn this section around here, but leave this edge of the door where it goes to the front panel, so it kind of will blend into the front panel more. Burn the door, it looks great. Burn the door, Lloyd. White vinegar, sea salt, and when you put it on, it fizzes the metal like this, and it attacks the metal really quickly, as you can see. What it will do, as it dries, it will just leave, and it rusts, it will put a lovely pattern in the, in actually in the, um, in the metal. I've just been kept slowly doing a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, just got to keep adding now to this section. <laughs> Trying to discolour this outer wedge. The uh, door repair panel. Um, I've put in the the inner frame with the new hinge in place. That's all now going to go um, in the bottom of that door that I'm mocked up today. This will add a load more strength for us. I put the door on this morning, mocked it up with the inner panel that I worked on last night. Put this panel now ready to. Start grafting into here, a few more repairs down this section here. I'm literally going to have the smallest repair to do through the bottom of the door here. Um, but I'm going to clean this up and straighten this up a bit more and then um, tack it all together and put it back on the back. Straighten up with a few bits and pieces. Um, actually seems to fit quite nicely. All the swage lines seem to relatively line up fairly well. Let's get this tacked in place. In a door panel is tacked into place. You can see here that see how much difference there is on that panel between the two. So I'm going to have to get jiggly pokery here. Yeah, I'm going to try the door back on the van. Bus is in the uh, blasters. I'm going to do a quick test just to see how it all looks. 